Hey guys, my name is Christian from Solitax Solutions and this short demonstration video I'm going to show you how to export all reports all at once to Excel or to a comma separated value um, text file. So as you can see on my screen I've already finished a project over here and first thing that I will do is I will check and see what reports there are actually available for my project. So simply go to the project tab, hit the reports button and as you can see, I've got two reports automatically generated. I've got my drawing list over here, which shows me all the list of drawings. And I've got a bill of material, which is grouped by manufacturer. Um, what we can do here is, um, as you can see, I've only got two reports. We've got the ability to add multiple reports. Um, it's actually relatively easy inside SolidWorks Electrical. We just simply go to the Add button over here. And if I make this a little bit bigger in my screen, you can see all the reports that come out of the box um, with SolidWorks Electrical. If we want to add a couple of more things, um, maybe we want to have a list of the cables and maybe a list of wires as well. We can just simply check the box in front of it and that will automatically be added to a project. This will help in the case um, if you want to send your reports, for instance, or your project to a customer, they probably require different reports than the guys at the workshop that are actually going to build um, your project. So it's very easy to swap out reports inside SolidWorks Electrical. As soon as I click OK, you can see that automatically the reports are generated and all the data is included. Now, of course, the length only comes through when you have to, when you actually um, did a 3D route inside SolidWorks um, 3D. We've got a list of cables as well <clears throat> with the references and with the lengths. This is the length that is rounded. Now, if you don't want your bill of materials, for instance, sorted by manufacturer, you can actually manipulate and create your own reports as well. I will show you that in a minute. Um, but what I will do now is we can either generate the drawings, which will be just added to the actual project. But we've got the option to export it to a text file, um, also CSV or to Excel. So if I just show you how to go about exporting it to Excel, you can select the reports that you want. I can select all reports, um, but for oh, let's do all reports and click next. I can say here that I want to have one sheet by break. Um, so every time the report is too big to fit on a drawing, it will automatically add a break and it will place it on one sheet. Um, I will not check this at the moment. Give it a target directory. Let's just place that on a desktop for now. And um, I will open the file when it's finished. Now, as you can see, we've got different Excel files open now. So if I just make this a bit smaller, we can see I've got my drawing list or list of drawings. I've got my bill of materials here in the background and I've got my list of cables over here as well. Now, once you've got the bill of materials, you can simply just select the data that you want, format this as a table, maybe like so. It has already had us and I can click on OK. And as you can see now, we've got the power of Excel and we can pretty much just sort everything just making it a bit smaller here. And um, now I've got the option because it's already in Excel, I can now sort by quantity, sort by reference, sort by mark, sort by description, and you can do whatever you want in here. Now, um, you can see we've got here just nicely one bill of material for all the manufacturers, but as I said before, you can have a separate sheet for each manufacturer um, if you want to go in that much detail. Now, just to finish off, I will quickly show you if we go to configurations and then there is this option here, report templates. If I select that, it will open up the report template manager or management. And you can see that the reports that are been in bold, they have been added to my project. If you want to create your own report, I would always suggest to just um, select the one that you want to use and you hit duplicate. That will actually create a copy at the bottom and you can then automatically open that report up. From there on, you can give it a description, specify what columns you want. So you can see cable, core, number, origin, destination and wire number. You can delete columns if you don't want to by right clicking on them and just unchecking wire number. 
and you can see that column has now been removed from the actual report templates. Of course, you can just go through layout, where you want to break, how you want to sort, um, etc. So SolidWorks Electrical does have the opportunity or does give you the opportunity to create your own report based on your, um, based on your um, preferences. Thank you for watching, guys.